feel the glares of my cousin, my uncle and my aunt. Can't believe how cruel they are, and it stings my life and scar. No, they'll never, ever give me what I want. No, I don't deserve these awful rules made by the Jerseys here on Friendly Tribe. Can't take these stupid muggles, but despite all of my struggles, I'm still alive. I'm sick of summer and this waiting around. Man, in September, so I'm skipping this town. Hey, it's no mystery. There's nothing here for me now.
I hate that guy. I hate him so much. Yeah. I just want to do shot. Uh, yeah. Well, we wrote something in his way from you. Another piece of magical 
parchment. So him and this scarf of sexual preference will not be returning until next year. <laughs> until then, I've just been putting anybody who looks like a good guy in a Gryffindor, a bad guy in a Slytherin, and anybody else can just go wherever the hell they want. I don't really care about them. Hufflepuffs are particularly good timers. What the hell is a Hufflepuff? <laughs> it's time now for you to meet my good friend and your potions professor, Mr. Severus Snape. <laughs> Uh, nothing. He's just evil. Come on, Ron. He's not that bad. Harry Potter! Detention! What? We're talking out of turn. Now, before we begin, I'd like to give you all your very first pop quiz. Can anyone tell me what a port key is? Yes, Miss Grange. A port key is an enchanted object that would touch will transfer one or one to touch it to anywhere in the globe decided upon by the enchanted. Very good. Now, can anyone tell me what foreshadowing is? Me, me, me. <laughs> me? Yes, Miss Granger. Foreshadowing is a dramatic device in which an important plot point is mentioned early in the story to be brought, brought back later in a more significant way. Oh, wait, what's the point? A point is not where you touch it or transport oh, you God. anywhere. If you are done talking, Remember, a port key can be any sort of seemingly harmless object, like, like a football, or, or a dolphin. Professor, can like a person be a port key? No, that's absurd. Because you see, if a person were to touch themselves, <laughs> they would be constantly transported to other places. A person can, however, be a horror. What's a horcrux? I'm not even going to tell you, Harry. You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> now, moving right along. There are four houses in all. Gryffindor, yeah! Ravenclaw, Woo! Hufflepuff, Fine. what? And Slytherin. <laughs> <laughs> Traditionally, points are awarded for good behavior, and deducted for rule breaking. Example, 10 points from Gryffindor. What? Why? For Granger's excessive big fat. Thanks, Hermione. Traditionally, the house with the most points at the end of the year would win the house cup. However, this year we're doing things a bit differently. Here to introduce it is our new professor of the dark arts, Professor Corbin. House Cup, a, a time-honored tradition. For centuries, the four houses of Hogwarts have competed for the honor and glory of holding the title of House Champion. Go home, terrorist! Well, when the tournament first originated, it was one of a completely different sort. One champion from each of the four houses was chosen to compete in a series of dangerous tasks of challenges. The winner would not only win the cup, but they would also win each one of glory. Kind of like a, a Triwizard Tournament? Oh. Yes, yeah, sort of like a Triwizard Tournament, except... No, not like that at all. There are four houses. How can it be a Triwizard Tournament with four teams? Oh, well, if I remember correctly, this house has four teams. mouth and quit interrupting. Ten more points from Gryffindor. Thanks, Hermione. God, for being the smartest witch of your age, you sure can be a dumbass sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Ten points for Dumbledore. <laughs>
Ravenclaw House. Miss Cho Chang. Oh, good nation. I can't believe I won. <laughs> Next, from Hufflepuff. Mr. Cedric Diggory. Well, I don't find this surprising at all. Oh, perfect. Now I get to spend more time with my beloved boyfriend. <laughs> Next, from Slithery. Mr. Draco Mouth. Ha! I finally beat you, didn't I, Potter? Who's the champion now? Draco, sit down, you little shit. Champion's just a title. <laughs> and finally, from Gryffindor. Oh, my. The one person in all of Hogwarts that I have a well-known grudge against is now in a tournament where he very well may lose his life. Uh, if it's me, I'll apologize to my fellow Gryffindors right away for losing. Sit down, you incompetent bubble! It's Harry Potter! You <laughs> can do it! <laughs> well, there you are, folks. You're four Hogwarts champions. And I want you to start preparing right away, because the first event is in two months, and you've got to be ready. Let's get out of here. Dude, Harry, you got this tournament in the bag. I don't know, man. Cedric Diggory, he's pretty awesome. Not, he sucks, we're totally gonna win. We got this in the bag. Well, I don't know, Harry. Oh my god, Hermione, why do you have to rain on everyone's parade? Uh, because, Ron, this is dangerous. Dangerous? How dangerous can this be? Especially for me. Uh, well, you're not invincible, Harry. Someone died in this tournament. Yeah, and I'm the boy who lived. I'm not even so. You're all character. First, you resurrect some awful in a tournament, then he bumps into you when your scar starts to hurt. And you've got to admit there's something funky about the back of his head. <laughs> I mean, okay, think about it this way. Professor Quirrell is a professor. And who hires professors? Dumbledore, Dumbledore is the smartest, most sexiest, awesomest person in the whole world. Why, why would he hire someone who's trying to kill me? Snape? What about him? He's hated you for years, Harry, and he's hated your parents too. Everyone knows that. He just so happens to pull your name out of the goblet out of hundreds, if not five possible Gryffindors. <laughs> I said, it's be left out. Holy. No, I don't think it is a coincidence. Please, well, you've created a lot of enemies with you to be the more of the baby. Okay. Right, if it means that much to you, I'll drop out, okay? Shalongbottom will be a great champion. Uh, no. No, no, no. I do not want Shalongbottom to be my champion. <laughs> oh, uh, there's Dumbledore. Let's go tell everybody else. Um, Hermione, um, first you should know that Dumbledore and I are really, really cool. I know. Um, we're super tight, and I don't want him to think that I'm being disrespectful or lazy, and, um, you tell him. Tell, tell him that I want to, like, got your something for school, okay? Oh, okay. You got this. You're the best. Hey, uh, Dumbledore? Yes, Granger? Uh, I wanted to talk to you about the, um, the, the house. Huh? Akio Red Bull. <laughs> <sighs> Tournament because, look, I think it's a really bad idea, but also I really don't think Harry Potter should compete in it. Granger, why do you always have to be such a big old stick in the mud? Go ahead, why shouldn't he compete? Because he wants to study. <laughs> Nobody studies in Hogwarts except for you. But he wants to focus on the owls. And why couldn't he have told me this himself? He thinks I'm cool. We are tight. That's true. Look, okay, I'm a really bad liar, okay? I think it's a setup of rules. And I even think Severus Snape might be trying to kill Harry Potter. Severus Snape is the kindest, handsomest, bravest, sexiest man I have ever met. <laughs> Severus Snape is trying to kill Harry Potter <laughs> just as much as he's trying to kill me. Oh, why, Professor Dumbledore. I was just in the kitchen and I thought of you, so I made you this delicious sandwich. <laughs> uh, thank you, Severus. See, Granger, 
How thoughtful. Well, Professor, bone of the tea. I mean, bone of the tea. <laughs> um, is that the sandwich? Ticket? It looks like it's licking. Finger licking good. That's right. I don't think you should eat that sandwich. Oh, uh, Granger, you ought to calm down every once in a while. You never know, you might get a sandwich out of it. Granger, what are you doing? <laughs> any better, the last person who died in this tournament was a Hufflepuff. Even if he wanted to drop out, he couldn't. You see that cup over there? It's enchanted. If somebody drops out, the results would be bad. So I'll keep my eyes out. Nothing's going to get past old Dumbledore. I got to go make myself another sandwich. But it's not going to be as good as that last one. That last one ticked. <laughs> Sorry, my lord, it's a necessary precaution. For if they knew that you lived and was part of destroyed you, you sold a dog. 
yes, that when I was forced to live and have been forced, I ate bugs and mushrooms and uh, unicorn blood. Until I found you and let you attach yourself to my soul. Yes, nobody must know any of that. Now, Cora, we must not have any more fouls like tonight in the Great Hall. I'm sorry, my lord, you sneeze. I know that. Buy me some nays next, you swine. <laughs> Watch that turd. Yes, my dark king. Okay, just relax with the dark king stuff, okay? I mean, I watch you wipe your butt daily. <laughs> you can call me Bolivar, we're there. We've reached that point. <laughs> Quirrell, get us ready for bed. We must be well rested if we wish to kill Potter. Tonight in the Great Hall, he was so close. I could have touched him. Revenge is at my fingertips, Quirrell. I can taste it. It tastes like mm, cool mint. That's what I'm just Yes, excellent. Well, Quirrell, good night. Oh, 
there's this girl I really, really like, and um, I wrote her a song. So uh, I was going to put your name where her name should be, and uh, see if it works. OK? OK. Awesome. All right. <laughs> You're tall and fun and pretty, you're really, really skinny, um, Jenny, okay. I'm the Mickey to your mini, you're the ticket to my Winnie, Jenny, wanna take you to the city, gonna take you out to Diddy. Yeah, I used to never have to use my reflection in the mirror. 